If you don't know anything about masking or you just want to upskill, then today is your lucky day because I'll be showing you everything you need to know about masking in CapCut. Yes, from creating simple edits like this to simple edits like this to this and many more. And without further ado, it's time to get started. So this is masking stage one. We have a blank canvas here in CapCut. I'm going to bring in some videos right now what we're going to do now is we're going to place them side by side. If you notice, if I just bring one of this video on the timeline, it takes the entire screen. But what we want to create is actually having the three of them running on a particular frame, this same aspect ratio. And we're going to use masking to get that done. So this is the first guy right here. I'm just going to move him a bit. I want him to be here. The second video, the lady running. As you can see, we have our hair, she's running. I'm going to flip her because I want her facing this way. Now I'm going to apply mask on our own video. So I'm going to apply mask, but right now I'm going to apply this option split. I'm going to apply the split option for her. As you can see, now we have two people running. Let's just do that 110 for the angle minus 110 for the angle. So yes. And now I'm going to bring in the third person, which is this guy right here. I'm, I'm going to pick the best part and I'm also going to flip him so he's also looking towards this way and I'm going to move him forward here and right now I click again and I also apply split the only difference is just the shapes that's all that's what makes them different I'm just going to turn it and you can see we have three different people running and that's it but this particular guy is actually running too fast so I'm going to come here to speed and just bring the speed down a bit to 0 0.5 just to slow him down, it's, it's pretty fast so I'm just going to slow him down a bit and yeah, we have a guy running so as you can see right here we have three different people running in the video so I'm just going to trim everything so this is the first level when it comes to masking very simple, nothing too much and this is it one more thing I'm going to show you we're going to have something called feathers. We're going to come down here and add feathers. Because you can see, it blends right in. You can see, it blends right in. Because before, we had this straight line, but we don't want that. So we want it to just blend right in. So I'm going to move this back a bit. I'm going to move this lady forward a bit also. So everything can just blend right in. I'm going to come here to mask. And just, let's just do 30. Or even a bit more so you can just blend right in as you can see everything just blends right in awesome so guys this is the first stage very basic mask effect now let's get more interested you guys understood the basics what we just have here it's now time to get a bit advanced because i actually want to show you guys things that are pretty interesting so right here i have a video of this man running and I'm going to do something very interesting with him right now. I'm just going to cut this a bit. And as you can see, he's running towards the sea. But right now, I want him to be running towards this. This is day and this is sunset. So this is actually what I want. So I'm just going to bring the sunset beside, behind him right here. As you can see, we cannot see the sunset. So I'm just going to come here straight to mask. But the thing is, if I had this, it looks weird. So we can't use this. We can't use any of this. They look pretty weird. But there's something really, really interesting. You can see this option here that says brush or pen. With this one, it's similar to using remove BG in CapCut, the remove BG effect. I'm just going to select only the man. So now I'm going to just click on brush and I'll select just the man. I just want to stylize the man's body alone. That's all I want. I'm just going to load. As you can see, it has highlighted just the man's body. So I want the man's body showing. That's all. I don't want any part of the screen else. So right now, once it's done loading, as you can see, you can see right now, we have the man's body just running on the beach. But now, to actually take things even to the next level, this is not all we're going to do. We're not just going to stop here. We're going to create a flow, a transition, because that's actually what makes it interesting. You, you, you don't use mask in isolation. You use it with something else. So let me actually show you how to use mask with something else. So I'm just going to cut this right now. All we did was just click on this, come to mask, and just brush him and you can see so now i'm going to duplicate this 
Alt, then drag. I'm gonna come here for this one. I'm gonna cut over here, W, and cut here, Q. And I'm gonna bring this down right here. I'm also gonna bring this down right here. You guys, just wait with me. You see what I'm trying to do right now. As you can see, we have nothing here. That's because the mask is on. I'm gonna turn off the mask. So while it's running, we have a transition from the day to sunset. I can, easily just, I can easily just come to transition right here and just put like a blend or a mix or whatever. But no, that's not good enough. This looks too simple. We don't want that. So I'm going to show you guys some really interesting things right now. Now we're going to use keyframes. So we have him running. Now we're going to use keyframes. I'm going to click here. Add mask. We're going to have split mask. Split and turn it up this way. 180 degree. Pick it up, add a bit of feathers to it, 30, very good. Now we're going to add keyframes, option, add keyframes. So we're going to come down here and at this point, we want everything to be down. We don't want to see it no more. So we're good to go. So now I'm going to take this back up. I'm going to drag this down here. So I'm going to play it for you and you can see what I'm talking about. You can see. So this is actually how you use mask. You don't use it alone, you use it with something else. Things just got interesting. This has been all over the internet and everyone loves it. It was complex, but CapCut just made it super easy. And it's adding text in videos or in pictures with mask. Mask was not the option, but now mask is the easy option to get it done. You click on mask. And you see this option that says text. Yes, you click on it. As you can see, now we have our text as a video. I'm just going to come down here and just type masking. And I can just choose whatever size I want. See cool. And just make it big. This used to be so hard to do. Very, very hard to do. But now with this effect, you can see, you can see people walking through the text. So this is a very, very nice transition. You can just use keyframes and do whatever and just transition into your main video. So let's say you have the text right here. Let me just show you how the transition works. You have a text right here. You've done your mask here. You just apply keyframes and just zoom in until you get what you want. And just kind of zoom into like 200 or whatever. So you can just zoom in and just add transitions or mix or something and yeah that's so amazing you can even zoom in more than that you can zoom in in 300 400 whatever you want it's up to you as much as you want as much as you like this is something that takes people so much time to get done but now with this new development of easy mask you can get it done so easily the same thing so guys that's the third step the fourth step is even time to go further. Then we go to the fifth step. I'm going to show you how to create a video you're seeing on the screen right here. It's very simple. We're just going to put text behind certain characters. And that's very simple. We're going to bring our video to the timeline right now. We're just going to cut to the right spot we want. We want this truck right here. Let's just wait. Yeah, we want this truck where it starts from. We need to cut right here. And also where this lady stops working. Also, that's all we need. Right now, I'm just going to click on text. I'm bringing our text. I'm bringing our text. I'm just bring our text down here. Because we're going to have overlays. I'm just going to put masking. Let's have it in uppercase. As you can see, let's select the font we want. Bangers. Very good. Make it big. I want over the tree. I just have it this way also then next let's just add um, a bit of stroke to it let's just do with that a 10 yes we're good so now we're gonna break this into two the text this is where it ends also it ends here good we're gonna cut this so this is where the first masking ends then the second one stats and it also ends here it doesn't matter it ends so now 
we're gonna duplicate this you can either use ctrl c and ctrl v to copy and paste or just hold alt and just drag we duplicate now we can't see everything again but don't worry we're gonna see shortly you can either use the mask effect just use the brush one i showed earlier or just come to remove bg right here and just click on auto removal and that's done the background has been removed now you can see we can see things but this is actually not what we want so now we're going to click on this and alt g or just right click and get something called create compound clip alt g so i'm going to click on that i'm going to explain alt g again i'm going to explain what, what is going on right here to you shortly just wait and just arrange everything properly so now we went from having a text to now having a text as image if you notice here you can see videos so all the things or all the effects all the corrections we can apply to a video that cannot be done to a text when you convert a text into a compound clip it actually gives you the opportunity to do things like that so now i can actually apply keyframes to this to actually make it zoom in or zoom out or do whatever i want which i wouldn't have been able to do if i was working as a normal text so now i'm just going to come here and come to video mask add mask i'm going to add split mask so right here we have this we have our car as you can see right here we're gonna have a bit of feathers we just have 30 or 40 for feathers also i'm gonna apply keyframes and by the time we get to the end here we shouldn't be seeing this anymore we should be done with it awesome so if we play this this is what we have awesome then we have this lady walking in front of the mask the same thing to her I'm just gonna click on keyframes and apply the same thing sorry keyframes speed video mask split turn it remember it's coming from behind now so i'm just going to apply one keyframe here so that's it guys you can see done and see you in the final and amazing step for the final stage we're recreating this video you can see right here it's very simple but the technique behind this is actually what is technical I'm going to show you how I actually got it done. So we're going to bring in the video of our model. Just bring it on timeline, very simple. Make it fit to frame. Let me just zoom in properly. And let's just cut like a bit of it. Okay, before it turns its face, let's just cut a bit. Yeah, like three seconds is good, I guess. How many seconds do we have here? Four seconds, that's, that's pretty fine. So the same thing again, we're just going to duplicate Ctrl C and Ctrl V, then bring it up here, or just use Ctrl Alt and drag it. They're going to bring you this video right here of the aurora we're going to put it in between remember what we saw at the beginning the aurora video is actually not that long let's just cut it okay good w and we just cut that out so now i'm just going to click on remove bg i can use mask to get the same thing done just using the brush effect i'm just going to use remove pgs it's pretty fast very quick and doesn't apply it auto cut done but this is actually not what we want like we want to still show a bit of the scenery while we have the background while we have the aurora shade rather so we're going to click on aurora and guys it's actually where things get very interesting i come to mask add mask this looks nice to use but no this is actually not what we're going to use we're going to come here to pen guys pen is magic and we're just, we're just going to apply pen at the beginning let's click on here pen and drag it all, all the way to the end right here let's say to this point and up here now it should come up a bit and up here then connect it back here and oof and guys as you can see we have that entire location cut out but we have a bit of white space and things like edge no problem just click on expand in case it was a mistake and finally add feathers yeah good to go you can see expand more and more anyways and finally yeah you're good to go however the feathers work this actually works very well for me. Let's do 70. 70 works very fine. So guys, and that's it. We have two different scenery, two different locations in one. We can get a bit more advanced. You can do more things to it. You can add multiple mask effects and things like that. But this works very fine. You cannot, can even start to drag this a bit and bring it around here. If that doesn't look too fine for you, you can drag this down a bit however and whatever way it works for you but this is actually how you just get it done super simple 
You don't have to stress much. We have two different locations in one. And that's it, guys.